Okay, so I ordered Jordan a yoga mat from Lululemon because he always steals mine and especially now that we've been home um, for quarantine, we've been using mine for our home gym, which I don't mind. It's just like I wanted to get another one for at home since, you know, it was getting a lot of use and it is the one I usually practice on. So I ordered Jordan the all black one. I think you would like that one. <gasps> I love this. It's so sleek. Okay, yeah. So here are the details. It's the, oh, it's the reversible mat in five millimeter, which is actually their thick one. It's so nice. If you haven't practiced on the thick yoga mat from Lululemon, it is a game changer. Um, I know some people, their hips and knees hurt in some positions, but with this thick mat, it is literally life-changing. So definitely worth the money, um, but it also will just look really good for our at-home gym. <gasps> I'm so excited. He's gonna be so happy. And I think with my discount, I got it for $51. So I'm actually thinking I may order another one. It was just the black one was the cheapest for some reason, but I actually love how it looks and it is reversible. So you have that like normal yoga side, it's more of that grip. And then this is for the hot yoga and you literally don't slip at all. So here you go, a Christmas morning. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Woo! Ooh, I'm actually fun. Can I get a hoo-yah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like it? Yeah, it's very sleek. That's what I said. Ooh, test it out. Test it's grippy. Ow, stop it! Ooh, damn, no, damn! Whoa, whoa, no dogs. No on dogs this. on it. This is my mat. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Isn't it so sticky? Well, look at my footprints. Yeah, you're dirty. Do you love it? I love it a lot. Yay. Good size and everything. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> love you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, we're going to the college. Ooh, cottage time. So bumpy, I'm getting anxiety. <laughs> the bump. Whoa. Whoa. Jordan, you're not even driving on the right side of the road. <laughs> like I'm legit fearful for my life. <laughs> so last time we did this drive, or sec two times ago, we drove and my back tire blew up and exploded. I don't know why you're bringing that up right now. I'm so, actually nervous. We're... Yeah, we blew a tire and it was like literally the scariest moment of my life. But I also was psychic and I knew it was happening. So <laughs> that's a story for well, another day though. Danielle is a very big scaredy cat when it comes to driving for some reason. So she was very much worked up. I and got freaking anxious. Out, freaking out and was like, oh my God, I don't feel safe in this truck. You have to sell it. Yeah. So then I'm like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. As I say that, my tire explodes. And I had to it was get weird. The it was a weird coincidence. Weird and I was like, I, and I said I had this gut feeling that something like wasn't right on the truck. And I was like, something feels off. Keep the camera rolling. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check in when we get there safe. Update. We just drove past the spot. Is it the spot? That's right there. Yeah. Oh, I was actually about to say update. I feel, I actually feel fine. Oh, that was right there. It's because we had to talk and I had to distract myself. You know, we literally get to tell our kids for the rest of our lives in the cottage about that story. Like, how great is that? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> no, that's so cool. Why? I love stories. Well, let's see okay, What's your we're gonna do color? this quick. Look at my face. Do I look like Ryan Reynolds? Then you have to put Ryan Reynolds' face next to me. See if you can say Yeah, yes. I don't think right now is a good picture though. Yeah. But I'll do that one. You're saying I'm ugly? No, I just think right now you're too grown out. So let me tell you a story, everyone. We've had up to 100 people now tell me I look like Ryan Reynolds. And I never believed it. I always like, you know, whatever. I heard it a couple times in my life. Then all of a sudden it just started happening. And happening and still to this day, like Danielle has people sitting in front of us and she goes, oh my God. What? No, because when I met him on our very first date, he was this like- This sounds so conceited. <laughs> but I'm not conceited. 
she... No, 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 no. On our first date, first of all, he was 20 minutes late. So <laughs> that's a story for another time. He was 20 minutes late to our date. I drove away and then I came back. They passed me. He's like, damn, look at that boy. <laughs> but yeah, I did drive away. He was late. But anyway, so we went. We ended up going on the date. It was a hike. And we're hiking, whatever, we're chatting. And then all of a sudden, he's like, yeah, um, like a lot of people say I look like Ryan Reynolds. And I'm literally like, oh, I don't see it, but okay. He's like, I know, like, not to sound conceited, but like, yeah, people say like I look like Ryan Reynolds. And the whole time I was like, I don't see it. And then we started dating, and I'm like, I still don't see it. And he would come home from like a haircut or the mall or something, and he would be like, people literally ask me if I look, if like, they say that I look like Brian Reynolds. I'm like, I literally never see it. And then the one time I was with I got him, asked if I was a Deadpool stunt double. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. And then one time I was with you and someone did ask you, and I was like, oh, I guess you are right. Because this whole time I'm like, yeah, right, like Brian Reynolds. Just Fuck, I've got, I got content, people. <laughs> but yeah. But that also, like, that conversation didn't, I didn't just like, hey, it's nice meeting you. Did you know I look like Ryan Reynolds? Like, there was an actual context in the conversation. No, you were just no. really bold. No. Like, you, yes, no. I remember you literally go, so why are you single? Like, you seem great. Why are you single? And, like, stuff like that. And I was literally like, yeah, what the heck? Like, I don't know. That's good shit. That puts you on the spot. I want to see if you can Did you, be do you remember spot. my answer? No, but I, like me personally, I ask questions like that to me. I had a great answer. I literally I said, throw you in I literally problem. said, well, I'm just picky. I'm really picky and I don't settle. So that's why I'm still single. Yeah. And then you tried to go, oh yeah, yeah, I'm really picky too. <laughs> like, Big, picky guy. Sure. Pick my nose. What a great day. <laughs> And you like, were just big, so bold. Big, big, big uh, active person here had to literally put her hands on her knees to walk up a hill. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. I love her name. I, I asked her out on our first date and I asked her out for her second date. Yeah. So true. obviously, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I remember. But you asked me I am out, like, classy. the next day. No, no, no. It was a Friday. He's like, so what are you doing tomorrow? Do you want to go for breakfast? And I literally was like, no, I can't go tomorrow. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> And I was classy, she tried to smooch me, and I only hugged her. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> well. We loved each other on that first date. Yeah. Then I had to like drive and show you where to go. To get yeah. There. Yeah. And I remember, I was like, oh my god. Like those guys are smart. such a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I feel like this should be a separate video, no? No, we, we, we could build this into this video. Okay. What like, is this video? Like, this video has no context. So well, it's just like, supposed to be a weekend. Well, like it's just another what weekend we plus how we met. Okay, let's back where we're at. I do it. to get some chicken for lunch. I'm just making a little smorgasbord of meats and veggies to snack on and then my sister and Chris are gonna come meet us. Jordan is putting out all the patio stuff. What a good little BF. Oh and the puppies are swimming. <laughs> it's so nice out. <laughs> so cute. We literally spend every summer here, so it's very fun. Do you want some help? Oh, I think I'm alright. Okay. 
Sure. Yeah. That's what I thought too. Okay. Now we snack. I think it's that, Matt. No, yeah, it's the exact same. Oh. What? Hmm. I think we're gonna go for a walk later, so I'll bring you along for that, but we're just taking a minute. How stunning. My parents' kitchen is. Literally the white kitchen of my dreams. It's a little messy because we made it messy, but oh, I love it so much. And then their stunning view. Can't wait for them to be home. outside. Isn't that cool? Ew. Was, Where did you find it? Down in the deck. He was upside down. Oh. So I thought I'd show you him. My new one. Oh, that's nice. Yep. We're doing YouTube videos now. Stay tuned. Based on Monday morning because I'm actually editing the video right now and realized that I never did an outro so I just wanted to say that I hope you enjoyed this video it was just a really chill weekend up north um, not much we can do in isolation but we're trying to make the best of it and stay positive positive. and yeah I thought it was fun to show you a little glimpse into my life and have these as memories so wishing you all a great week ahead and stay tuned for more videos bye